What is going on everybody, man? Mike is back with another video. Back here to talk about One UI, oof, whoa, <laughs> iOS 17 beta. And just giving you guys an update as to how the software has been running since using the beta program overall, some of the features that I've enjoyed and what I'm looking forward to in terms of when iOS 17 will officially drop. Yes, I am using the iPhone 14 Pro. Looking forward to upgrade to the iPhone 15 Pro maybe the ultra if it's renamed that the bigger size but i have been enjoying the smaller size nonetheless how has ios 17 been since running a beta program well like any beta program you're going to have your ups and downs your ebbs and flows if it's not because of features or the daily use of the phone or device it may be due to battery life and performance and for me in terms of feature sets I haven't had any issues with the features other than the one issue earlier on when running the beta, which was name drop. And that's the ability to use AirDrop to name drop or send your contact poster and profile picture to somebody else. And that way that when you see your caller ID, when somebody calls, it shows a full picture of that individual. That's why you see the you know the keypad and 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 uh, your whole phone app look different now when making phone calls is to showcase that contact poster and now you get a new profile picture that can go along with it initially earlier on when running the beta it wasn't working that well but since like beta 3 it has been working very very well being able to send a contact poster to individuals on ios 17 and of course i've just been experimenting using it with my wife's phone to make sure it has been improving and they even added chime sounds or no or or chime noises if you will to name drop or airdrop watching the animation send and receive information to one another's phones i think those all those smaller updates that apple needed to bring to the ios experience to really bring and hone in what it's like being in this ecosystem and with something as simple as sharing your a contact poster and giving us a great animation for that i think that was a good idea on apple's part to include that with ios 17. that's something that i've, I've really enjoyed and a nice part about it is whenever you update your own contact post and profile picture if you're in contact with them basically via iMessage, you will occasionally get like a little notification pop up within the message app asking if you want to update and or share your information with the other party. So that way information can be updated that way as well. So your contact poster could change because they changed it or you can still go in and create a contact poster for them and use the one that they prefer. I like that there's still a level of customization and granularity with this new name drop feature. The other feature I have been enjoying is the use of iMessage, being able to quickly reply to uh, specific messages a lot better now. I like the animation. I like how more fluid it is to leave that message thread or that message chain and jump back into the overall messages thread for the individual that I'm texting. And I love the addition of live stickers. And I use Jiffy or the Jiffy app or Giphy app, however you want to pronounce it, to download basically GIFs in live photo mode. So that way I can then use the live photo as a live sticker and then stick it in the message app to make fun tease add emphasis to whatever the conversation is about so that's another feature that i've been thoroughly enjoying with ios 17 so far on the beta now maybe i'll come with a feature video later on once we have the official list of ios 17 features that will be here we know that the journal app will be showing up maybe around ios 17.1 and that's an app that you'll probably be able to more or less take advantage of on the ipad via ipad os 17 but that is a feature that's coming later not coming right off the bat when ios 17 drops and when would that be exactly somewhere around september 18th because we're on beta 7 typically apple has eight betas which means we should see a beta 8 next week but if we don't see a beta 8 next week, that means that we should see the RC build, if not the first, the second week of September, which will be around the 4th or the 12th. And then we'll get the official stable release, I believe, the week after that. So we're, we're right on the cusp 
of the official iOS 17 update and I can't wait to see how the phone responds and reacts to it as well as the official list of features because Apple is known to sometimes drop a feature and maybe wait on it or it comes later or they decide they didn't want to do it no more and they renege on features so I'm not trying to go too in depth about specific features yet until we know exactly what iOS is bringing to iOS 17. How has performance been? Performance has been better, but earlier on when running the update <laughs> or when running the beta software, of course, I wouldn't even say performance suffered. I will say promotion suffered earlier on and certain notification haptics also stopped working that was more recently but then had been addressed and fixed with this most recent beta update and that was surrounding the alert switcher you did not get haptics switching it on and off and now they return that which is great but maybe that's an indication of what they're trying to do with the action button but one thing that i definitely noticed for sure is the fact that performance has improved over the course of time and as i mentioned with some of those features that's when you notice that the performance is improving and i have I haven't really noticed that it's dropped. You know what I mean? So like running the iOS 14 or the iOS 16, the clean you know version of, of, of a software system, and then running iOS 17, I really didn't notice any hiccups. Yes, certain apps don't necessarily respond the same, and that's because it's on a developer to kind of get with the program with their apps. But so I would notice a few hiccups from there from that standpoint, but overall it didn't interfere and it hasn't interfered with my daily use of my iPhone. And that's something that I really needed to see and gave me confidence to continue running the beta program. And so far, this far in being f fully up to date on the beta software, I've been enjoying the experience fully. And that leads me to battery life. Battery life has come and it's gone. <laughs> But for the most part, it has improved since the second beta. Like beta 1, beta 2 wasn't that great. Beta 3 on, battery life has improved steadily over and over. And sometimes it just takes a couple days for the software to settle in, for the battery life to adjust and then continue on. And that's something I've noticed with my iPhone 14 Pro. And since I've had it for a few months now, since June 9th, June to July, July to August, so two months, two and a half months, my battery life so far, if I go check it now, you know, I'll just throw a screenshot up basically. If I go to battery and I click on battery health and charging, I'm still at 100%. So I thought I would, you know, of course, show you guys this. So that way you guys can see for yourself. Let me go ahead and frame it up real quick. Save the photos. So battery life has been really, really good on the iPhone 14 Pro as of late. And I noticed even in moments where maybe standby time didn't do as well at it as it had on a stable release software, I noticed that when using the phone, it doesn't drain nearly as fast. And that's a good thing because when you're using your phone, that's when you want to see your battery do the best as well. Not just idle and not in use, but most definitely while using the device. So that's something that I'm appreciative of that they paid attention to the battery life they've been answering our concerns when it comes to that and they've been resolving issues fairly fast and consistently and so overall the the beta program has been solid for ios 17 i've heard it has been better than in times past so if you're interested in running a beta leading up to ios 17 stable release you can i can recommend you doing it on your device because we're only a few weeks out from the official release of the software so get a preview for a few weeks leading in you can wait or jump into that beta rock out with it you have the form the seal of approval from yours truly michael woods but let me know down in the comment section below if you have been running it how has your experience been running the software on your phone or your device and what device are you running? Are you looking forward to iOS 17 if you haven't been using it? And regardless if you have or not, what are some of your favorite features that you've came across on iOS 17? But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell, so that way you know it's my videos. That way we can see the batch that I see what's cracking. Which man, Mike, sign out to the next video. Wait for it.